This video will show you how to access TMA questions and show you how your assignments should be formatted and submitted. You'll be submitting your assignments electronically and this is why they are sometimes referred to as eTMAs. They're marked and returned to you using the same eTMA system. TMA or Tutor Marked Assignment Questions for TU100 are accessed from the TU100 website homepage. Here's some information about the sorts of things most tutors like to see when marking your TMA. At the top of every page, it's helpful to be able to see who the assignment belongs to. The TMA's number and the student's name and personal identifier number. It should look like this. To ensure that these details appear on every page without having to enter the details on each new page, you can place them inside a document header. You can enter the header area of a document by double clicking in the page area above where your first line of text normally goes, like this. A tutor may have many assignments open on their computer during marking and so it really helps to be able to quickly see whose TMA is being marked. Please include the question number and question part number against the relevant answer, but please do not include that is paste in the actual question text. This just makes your document longer and therefore time consuming to scroll through. For the same reason, do not double space your text. The default spacing is usually set to single or thereabouts and that's fine. Tutors no longer have to print out TMAs and try to write in between the lines as they did in the days before on-screen electronic marking. Please also stick to the default font. Unusual and novelty fonts are not appreciated. Older versions of Word used Arial and newer versions use Calibri or Cambria. Any of these fonts are easy to read on screen and therefore ideal for the purposes of marking. A font size of 10 to 12 points is usually right for reading on screen. Let your tutor know if you need to use larger font sizes or even a different font colour if you have issues with your vision. However, you can write your assignment in a font size that's comfortable to you and then just before submitting your assignment, resize the font. Another way to increase the appearance of text on your screen is by using the zoom slider in the bottom right of Word's window. There's no need to indent paragraphs or use any fancy formatting. Word will, by default, automatically place a line between each paragraph and there's no need to change this. Your tutor will be adding comments and sometimes diagrams into your assignment and consequently the lines and spacing of your original document will move to accommodate those comments. Therefore, always keep a copy of your document after submitting it as the version you get back will have been altered. Don't include a table of contents unless a question specifies that. Your assignment will become reordered anyway once your tutor's comments are added. I'm unable to show you the student view of the online TMA service, however, the procedure is pretty straightforward. The details of how to precisely submit your assignment can be found here. If you're having problems submitting your assignment, then contact the computer help desk and let your tutor know you're having problems but try to do this well in advance of the deadline if at all possible. As a contingency against problems submitting your assignment, try to submit it well before the deadline. Submitting a test TMA is a great way to verify that you can access and navigate the eTMA system successfully well in advance of needing to submit TMA01. It's sometimes referred to as a dummy TMA or TMA00 and to check that the eTMA system is working for you on your computer system. Taking the time to submit TMA00 can help to remove some of the anxiety you might otherwise feel after making your first proper TMA submission.
and let you, you to know when you've submitted that TMA, as unlike when you submit TMAs, the system does not automatically inform tutors when dummy TMAs are submitted. If you are unsure of file formats you can use when submitting TMAs or have any other questions, have a look at this page, which answers frequently asked questions about submitting TMAs. To submit your ETMA, click on Online TMA Stroke ECA Service. Press the Submit button for the TMA you wish to submit, and this will take you to the ETMA submission screen. If you're still unable to submit your TMA files using the instructions outlined, then please get back to the help desk and identify which step you're having problems with, including any error messages that you might be receiving. TMAs are normally marked within 10 working days of the deadline date. When your TMA has been marked, you will receive an automated email and you will then be directed to download your marked work. When you get back your marked TMA, it will contain comments from your tutor and will look something like this. You should read your returned assignment carefully as it will contain feedback on how well you answered the TMA questions and on what you've done and how you can improve. You may even receive sample answers to some questions or part questions. When you download your TMA, it will be accompanied by an HTML document called a PT3, and it will look something like this. PT3 contains the marks against each question, and also marks for the study skill element on your assignment. It will also contain important feed-forward comments to assist you with your next and future TMAs. Please read and take note of feed-forward advice as it will assist you greatly in improving your success in TMAs for TU100 and in your studies in general. In the next video on submitting assignments, I'll show you how to complete and submit interactive computer marked assignments or ICMAs. Thanks for watching.